Hello, this is Patrick W. Crawford, and this is a demonstration of Pokemon FPGA version. This was a school project completed by myself, Zhanna Kaufman, and Becca Thompson. So now looking at the board, this is the Spartan 6, as it is called. Um, you see it has a number of switches, which we use for um, debugging or setting and resetting. Uh, it primarily has these five buttons here, with, which act as the D-pad and selection. You have left, right, up, down, and then center to select. And then you see there's also an eight segment display, which we use again for debugging to see um, what state's on and various um, parameters of the game. But the primary thing is again, we're using the BGA output on the board, which will synchronize with the monitor over here. Um, obviously we can't use screen recording software because this is not running from an operating system. It is running in binary from our board. So we have to fill the screen. So now if we look at the actual game, we can see here we have the splash screen, and then we go into where we can select the different Pokemon. To start off with, we only have three, and then you select one and you start battle. So yeah, each one has specific attacks. We use tackle first, and so you see that it actually lowers or scrolls the bar down. If you use tail whip, it actually decreases the offense of the other Pokemon. So the next time when we attack and we use tackle, It'll do more damage, and you see it's going much farther, and that will actually allow me to win in this case. So then, when you win, you unlock a new Pokemon, in this case, Magikarp. Yay. So now you see this extra Pokemon unlocked. We can select it and start a new battle. Um, of course, Magikarp can only do Splash, so you cannot win with Magikarp. And so then you always have this Run feature, and that just brings you back to the... Um, sort of menu page where you can select a new Pokemon and start over. So then we can select another Pokemon and then battle again. Oh look, Magikarp. You can use Tackle. Uh, Magikarp has a higher speed, so you do notice that different Pokemon do go first. There is some randomization, so in some cases some Pokemon will alternate who goes first, but um, in this case, Magikarp is actually faster. So it always goes first. So, we unlock another Pokemon. I'm going to use a little reset key, or set key rather, to uh, unlock the rest of the Pokemon just so we can see some other things. Alright, so now we're using Lapras, and now we see we are now going against the Spartan 6 FPGA. So in general, we can only uh, battle against Pokemon that we've unlocked, but now we've unlocked all of them. And so, uh, you see it has some extra features because it's special, it's bored. So I'm using Growl against it to lower its attack, you notice i am also lowered some health. So now I can use Restore, and I gain some health. And you notice when it attacks, it does less damage. So I'm trying to lower its attack, but um, in the end, it ends up having a critical hit on me, which ends up taking out the rest of my health. So, you, so then you see that the foe defeated you, and you can go on to continue and battle another Pokemon. So now we can take a look at the FPGA. Of course, is a special Pokemon that we have added that was not in the original 150. It has two very special attacks. Warning sign and compile error, because that is what happens when we're creating this game. Lots of mostly warning signs, a few compile errors, enough that we could still have it functionally and clearly. So the Spartan 6 has the lowest speed, but also has a ridiculous amount of health, so it pretty much always wins. So now, if I have a c another couple um, debugging keys where I can show my sprite sheets, these are all the images that are used in the game. So right now you're looking at all the black and white images, or the text objects, the um, the bars for each of the Pokemon, and everything you see on the screen. That's black and white, basically. And then now, we have the sprite sheets for the color images. And because the Spartan 6, the FPGA, has very limited memory, we had to utilize every bit of uh, space we could. So. We notice that the um, images, the spreadsheets are all 256 by 256 pixels. The black and white images are obviously one channel, just black or white. The sprites of the actual Pokemon, the front and backs, um, those are 256 by 256 with R, G, and B channels of color, just one bit for each of those colors. And then the splash screen is just a um, blue and green channel. And with that we completely use all the memory of the chip. So an FPGA, that stands for a Field Programmable Gate Array, and this is basically a chip 
that has a large number of logic gates, or in this version actually lookup tables, basically the most basic circuit elements by which you can compile code written in a hardware description language, Verilog, and it will basically reroute the connections between these different AND gates, or gates on the chip, to create a chip that does something. Um, the idea of an FPGA is that you can reprogram it to do whatever you want, so it's good for prototyping and creating um, and testing new types of software. So for this class, we were uh, tasked to create the Pokemon game using the VGA output of our board.